Hi guys, today we're turning it up a notch. I'm doing my pasta alfredo with crab cakes. There you see I've added some fish and meat sauce, some maggi seasoning. I'm adding some mustard and onion powder in, and I'm going to be using the lump crab and just the regular crab meat from the can if you have fresh crab you can use it and there you see I have some ground cumin and garlic powder I'm gonna add some old bay because we're trying to make sure we flavor that crab meat to the best of our ability and then I'm gonna be adding some black pepper and once you have combined all these ingredients then you're going to be adding some old bay or creole seasoning as well and some saison to give it color then you're gonna break one egg and combine the whole mixture together i thank you so much for watching our videos be sure to subscribe turn on your notification button so you don't miss any video and leave a comment to let me know where you're watching from and how you like our videos and so there you see I am combining the ingredients together you can use a whisk as well that will work better than the fork and then you see I'm adding my crab meat I have this is 16 ounce in total from the two cans um, that I have drained the water from and then we're going to fold in to be careful not to break up the crab meat and there I added just a little bit of Creole seasoning and so now I'm adding some green onions some thyme regular onion um, different colors sweet peppers and garlic powder and we're going to be using the air fryer um, for this recipe to make our crab cakes. So you see I, I'm just taking the leaves off my thyme instead of having the long sticks in there. And I'm going to be using just a tad bit of lemon juice, I would say a quarter teaspoon. A little bit of heavy cream and then you're gonna be adding your breadcrumbs or you can crush some other crackers be sure to be generous with the breadcrumbs so that your crab cakes can form and not break apart so um, add however much once you you start to combine you don't want it to be too dry but you want it to come together so the egg should help with that and the and the generous amount of breadcrumbs you could have added another egg also if you would like but combine it as you can see there so that you are able to um, get it to come together very well And see so I'm using a spoon just to make sure that they don't fall apart and I'm gonna be using my ice cream scoop to make uh, the crab cakes and so there I'm using some olive oil to, to line my air fryer and from this two eight ounce cans I believe we got seven crab cakes and so there you see I'm increasing my temperature on my air fryer it's gonna be a little bit different depending on the brand air fryer that you have and so I gave mine at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and at five minutes I check it and you can see that it's starting to be golden brown but I gave it an additional five minutes to ensure that it's thoroughly cooked and has that brown color 
after I have reduced the temperature to 380 degrees to prevent it from burning. And so then, now I showed you my finished product there. The crab cakes are all done, they're golden brown. So we're going to be making the Alfredo and pasta sauce now. So I'm adding my Creole seasoning to about two cups of water and then I'm going to be adding some oregano leaves and bring that to a boil on medium flame with some olive oil. So for this recipe I'm using the ziti pasta. You can use whichever one works best for you or what you have in your pantry or cupboard. And so there I boiled it for about five to seven minutes to get it al dente. And you see, I am testing it to make sure that it's cooked. So in a skillet, add about two tablespoons of unsalted butter, two cloves of garlic, some old bay spice, and you cook the garlic until it's translucent you want to smell in here it smells so good and then you add about two cups of heavy cream combine those and bring to a boil so now you're gonna spice up your heavy cream mixture I had some ground cumin onion powder black pepper, garlic powder, and Old Bay seasoning along with the Sazon. And then you're going to combine the mixture. I've added some parsley as well. And my Italian blend just to give the sauce that great flavor so make sure you can use your plastic whisk in the pot as well not 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 a metal spoon just to combine all the seasonings in your skillet and you see I'm just tasting there to see what to add and I decided to add some more Creole seasoning to bring up the flavor and my Italian seasoning. Combine those again and let it boil for maybe three to five minutes, ensuring that it's not sticking to the bottom of the skillet. And then I've added some mozzarella cheese, about a half a cup. If you have Parmesan, you can use it as well for this recipe. I had mozzarella, so I use that. Make sure to make it dispersed in your sauce, your Alfredo sauce. And then... Um, you're going to drain your pasta and add it to your sauce. Combine it together. Make sure all the sauce gets covered with the macaroni. And you can top it with some Parmesan cheese when you're done and serving to your family or your guests whichever one you decide and be sure to leave in the comment um, if you'd like me to try a recipe or if you'd like to learn a specific recipe So there you see the finished product and so now we're going to do the plating. I'm putting my 
pasta alfredo um, sauce in the plate first and then we're going to be adding the crab cakes and then we'll just put our extra alfredo sauce on top and there you have it guys you could have moistened your crab cakes but I decided not to and I'm gonna show you what inside of it looks like thank you so much for watching see you on the next video bye